Hello people from the Sonnen Way. We're gonna show you now how to maintain the Cobol vacuum cleaner. First, we want to take out the bag, which is important. In in this case, we have like a three, four months using the vacuum cleaner. So we're gonna uh, clean it with a, just a, a neutral uh, water-based uh, liquid. We take out the battery and make sure that everything is clean inside. This guarantee us that there is not going to be um, bad odors or something that can affect the functioning of the machine. We clean it thoroughly. Make sure that everything is free. Nothing is stuck on it. Okay. And now we're going to show you how to clean the head. That is uh, in charge of cleaning the floor and the carpets. We put the new bag back the battery, assembly everything, and we're gonna pass to the other part. This is the head of the vacuum cleaner. We remove the two sides. And then we're gonna remove the helicoidal brushes. As you see, they are tangled with hair and fibers and everything. So make sure that you make a little a little turn in order to remove them. After remove them, let me show you the, the other one that sometimes we have to put back the the one that you just retired in order to have the enough force. It's only with the hand, don't use any tool. Cleaning trolley. In this case, we decided to put a cloth uh, underneath because this is a very clean and, and smooth surface. But we want to show you that we need to make sure that there is not, nothing that can cause scratches on the finishing of the machine. We remove that door, the little door that is a door that we used to check if something is not got stuck on the vacuum cleaner causing malfunctioning clean it thoroughly make sure that everything is clean because that dust that we vacuum probably is it has remainings of food or something like that that can cause bad odors when we turn on the vacuum cleaner, okay? That little service door has to be clean. Make sure everything is clean. We go through the tube and make sure that, as you see, you see how dirty is okay and now we're gonna clean all the small parts the helicoidal brushes everything everything we're gonna make sure that is clean of dust Remember that that does may contain remaining of, of food. So everything has to be dry. We don't need to go and use water to wash anything. You just, we can help you using scissors to remove the hair, as you see. 
if the, the task is a little difficult, we can use a hard uh, brush to remove the remaining of hairs and fibers. Make sure that everything is even inside the brush. Okay, the same with the other one. This can take like a half hour or less to do this, but you don't need to 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 do it uh, so frequently. We just doing this after four months of use, so it's like a three or two times a year. And now we're gonna assemble the pieces. Okay. We're going to put back the helicoidal brushes. We turn a little to make sure that it's coupled with the gear. Got it. Make sure that everything is working. Same as the... Remember that the one that has the green top goes to the green where is a dot a uh, green dot on the left side okay they have to be there in order to guarantee the rotation is working as expected okay we put everything back make sure that everything is working freely the movement of the brushes. Put back the little door that we used to remove big stuff that is stuck on the head of the vacuum cleaner. The final touch. This is a disinfecting cleaning liquid is based on water, no solvents, remember. And though you don't use anything hard that can damage the finishing of the head. The same with the body of the vacuum cleaner. Make sure that everything is clean on the front and the back. And remember to use a little damp cloth with a neutral liquid. In this case, this is a neutral water-based cleaner. It's a disinfector. It's a, it's a disinfecting liquid, okay? Got it? And this is it. See you in the next time. Thank you for watching Sun on Wave. This is the Cobalt Machine Vacuum Cleaner. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Remember to do this every three, four months to make sure that you're going to have the machine for years to come. Thank you for watching Sun on Wave again. Enjoy the rest of the week. Mm -hmm.